The herbicides terbutalazine and hexazenone are the most effective at controlling weeds and radiata pine forests. By optimizing herbicide application and the amounts, the New Zealand forest industry can minimize effects on the environment and meet eco-certification criteria. Certification is an international system that identifies wood and wood products produced from sustainably managed forests. Over 50% of the New Zealand forest industry is certified by the Forest Stewardship Council. The Forest Stewardship Council has become an important aspect of today's forest management, but has brought with it challenges, particularly in respect of agrochemical use. New Zealand has some highly competitive exotic weeds, and these can result in significant growth losses if not controlled early in the rotation. Forestry operations in New Zealand rely on herbicides for weed control. Each year, around 447 tonnes of active ingredient is applied in planted forests. The FSC and other eco-certification bodies require that forest managers develop weed management systems that reduce or eliminate chemical pesticides. Between 2007 and 2015, the most widely used herbicides, terbuthalazine and hexazenone, were classified as highly hazardous by the FSC, a potential problem for the forest industry. Over six years ago, the certified forestry companies in New Zealand got together to formulate a plan to define the need, the alternatives and the safety of chemicals currently in use. Part of this work has been undertaken in conjunction with Scion Research. Much of Scion's weed management research program has focused on finding alternatives to these herbicides and investigating any negative impacts the herbicides might have on the environment. Terbuthalazine and hexazenone have now been removed from the FSC highly hazardous list. We would like to think that much of the work Scion has conducted in this program has supported their removal. We have also been thinking beyond certification. There is increasing pressure from public and national authorities to reduce the impacts of intensive land use. A reduction in herbicide use can be achieved by applying the correct dose, targeted application, alternative chemicals and non-chemical control methods. We carried out 13 field trials across New Zealand over three years, testing a wide range of herbicide mixes. While all of these chemicals and mixes have shown potential, the outstanding result is that the current operational standard, terbuthalazine and hexazenone, is by far the most effective treatment. Most herbicides are applied aerially. However, the use of spotweed control is becoming more common as pressure to reduce the input of pesticides increases. We also looked at the potential of biological control using the leaf feeding weevil released for the control of Buddleia davidii. While the weevil significantly reduced the growth of Buddleia, the rate of spread and population growth of the weevil was not great enough to reduce the requirement for chemical control. Coupled with the wide spectrum of weeds that emerges at a site, this meant that the removal of just one of the competitive weeds was not sufficient to reduce the requirement for chemicals to optimise the growth of the crop. Planted forests play a key social, environmental and economic role in New Zealand. It is important that forestry remains viable into the future. The results of the Sustainable Farming Project will play an important role in meeting forest sustainability objectives by reducing the use of hazardous chemicals, confirming the basis of need and the efficacy of the recommended chemicals, by supporting the establishment and re-establishment of forests and to enable the continued promotion of wood as an environmentally friendly resource for the future.